guys welcome back to another video I've been shopping now nah. I went down to my local town uh, well a town that's close to me because um, I've been going out my head so I thought you know what I'd earned a bit of extra cash so I thought I want to go and spend it on myself so everything's been washed and everything because I got all this yesterday but I thought I'd show you today so the very first thing that I've got, I love little scarves just to chuck on something like this. This is what I've had on today. And this was from one of the charity shops. And it's actually a Russia John Russia one but from Debenhams. And I paid a pound. So, and this, well, it's already got its use today. I also picked up this top. So it's got lovely balloon sleeves which are elasticated so they're not tight at all I think this is like one of my favourite tops that, that I've picked up and it I don't know if you can see but it like it's ribbed there and then flows down so if you've got a belly like me and all I did was pair it with me Wallace necklace that I've had for years and years uh, some black skinny jeans and my little flip flops from peacocks was it I think they were from and this top was four pound and I think I got it from Help the Aged I believe I've got this from right so that's one of them I picked up this this was a new never worn they've chopped the tag out so I don't know where it was from absolutely beautiful linen can I get it on no supposed to be a size 20 everything I've picked up today is a size 20 and that was absolutely skin tight I had to be peeled out of it so unfortunately I paid £10 for that I've got the tag even though I've took everything off and washed it I'm taking it back because it was £10 and it was brand new so but I just thought I'd show you because it's absolutely beautiful and I was really hoping it was going to fit but it didn't so that's that one Mm. Then I got this one. This is second hand. It's from somebody else. I shall try them all on for you. But it's a very thin linen and it's got a polka dot on it. So it's very nice. The sleeves can be rolled up if you want them to. And I paid £2.50 for that. And like I say, I've washed all these and dried them and ironed them. And then a lady, I don't know if you know that, I, I love these sort of trousers. They're like a legging. Uh, yeah, they're like, a, they're like a legging really, a jogger legging. And if we look, I've got a few pairs of them already. I'm sure you'll have seen me in them. So I've got that pair and I've also got that pair. And then I saw these today, and I've been quite liking green, so I've picked those up. Now, I haven't tried these because those ones, when I got those, I was a bit thin and thinner, and they've stretched to fit me. Now, she reckons that these are extra big ones, so if they're not, these are from a shop, and these were £12. Eleanor, she's got a new toy look. So sorry about that, if you can hear the dog. Oh, you've gone quiet now, have you? Now nobody's talking. Yeah. Right, and the next one is this one. And this was £10 off the, from the same lady I got those from. But she says if they don't fit me, I can take them back. But again, it's a beautiful linen really really nice so that's that one and then the other one that came that said it was brand new and it's got a tag on it called wrap london and like i said look at the sleeve on that it's absolutely lovely i know it's not for wearing now but absolutely beautiful and that's the size 20 as well and i, I already know that that's going to fit so I don't quite know what went wrong with the tighter one 
But like I say, oh, and I've got another scarf. I do like my scarves. And I've got to admit, I don't possess a white one. So I just got this. It's like a kind of linen-y one. I, what, cheesecloth, I suppose you'd say. And I just got that off the market. There was the market on. But as you know, I do like my scarf. Well, you don't know, but I'm telling you. I like my scarves. I've also got a couple of home bits, but I'll show you those last. So... Like I say, this is the first top, and like I say, it's absolutely beautiful, really nice. Again, it's a, it's a, li no, it's not a linen. What would it be? Cotton, 100% cotton, it says. So that's that one, and that's my scarf. So we'll try the other tops on, and we'll show you as and when, okay? Right then, I thought I'd try this one on first. Isn't it beautiful? The sleeves are absolutely lovely. When I wear tops like this, to try and make me look a little slimmer, I tuck a side in, so it's not, because if you don't, it just, well, it just hangs, doesn't it? But that's the length of it. Absolutely beautiful. It's a little see-through, but I've got plenty of nudie, to uh, nudie bras. And all I do is just tuck a side in, and it just helps slim you out a little bit. And I didn't say, did I, what this one was made of? Oh, well, this had a tag on it. Oh, no, sorry. It's 45% organic cotton and 55% hemp, what that is. So, whatever hemp is, but it's, it's really lovely. Yeah, I suppose it is a strange kind of feel. But that's that one. So I'll try the next one on and we'll come back. Right, this is absolutely lovely. I like how it's got all the fringe hemming at the bottom. That's really pretty. And I've, it's a square neck. So that's really nice as well. Quite flattering. And I've just paired it with one of me. My little scarves that I've I like to wear. I'm quite paranoid. I don't know why, but I do like it. Like I feel more secure if I've got a bit of something there. I couldn't care less about my arms. They're just fat, but I do like to wear something. So, like I say, it's lovely. Very pretty and a beautiful colour. So, I'm really happy with that one. So, you'll have to let me know what you think. And we'll try another one on and I'll let you know. And then this is the the last of the tops. It's ever so funny because when you look at yourself like this, you can't see all the dots. But obviously looking in the mirror, they're everywhere. And these are really nice like little wooden buttons. So they're very pretty. And you can either wear it rolled up like that or left down like that. And again, I've just tucked it in just for a bit of dimension as such. And that's the back. So, I quite like this, but actually I feel warmer in this than I've done in any of the others. So I don't know whether it's because it's getting a bit warm. Where are we? Seventy percent cotton, 30% viscose. So, even though it's like very flimsy, I feel a little warm in this one. But that's that one. And now we'll just try the trousers on. Better hope they fit, eh? <laughs> right then, these are the trousers. And like I say, they're like a legging. I don't know if they're supposed to be baggy, but certainly not baggy on me. Now, this is quite annoying because you reckon that these would fit me and be looser than what my other ones are. And yeah, they're quite loose at all. They have pockets, but I sew these because they're really annoying mess. The other pairs I've sewn up because, well, I just don't like it. But they're quite baggy here. I don't know what it is with my body shape. And then they, like the legging type fit on your leg. I think, I think I like them. Hubby like them. But obviously not with this top, but like I say, all I did with the other ones was sew the pockets shut so that they don't get in the way. 
And these, oh, well, I take the jawstring out as well because that just me add in. And they never say a size on them, which is dead annoying. It just says produced in Italy. But these are the other ones, and saying these, are sp I suppose they are bigger actually, because they were extremely tight on me when I first got these ones and those. But over time, everything stretches, doesn't it? But they're really, really comfy, and they do stretch. So, yes, I should definitely be keeping them. But as for a saying that they're a lot larger size. I wouldn't say they are or if they are all it is is just here I mean I've got quite big legs I've got bigger legs and a bit than a belly sort of thing but I'm happy with them I do like them and they'll certainly get a lot of wear because so do they so I'm gonna get myself back ready again get a quick drink and then I'll show you what I've bought household sort of thing all right, so I'll see you again in a couple of minutes. Right then, I'm back again. Now I've cooled down. Right, so the first thing is, is this tray. It's lovely and solid. Uh, four, four pound I paid for it. But I think this has been hand paint. Oh no, it hasn't, it is a stick on. But I'm going to get rid of that and do something different with it. Um, I think I'm going to uh, concrete look it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the inside. But I'm hoping that will go with something else that I forgot to show you. But the next thing is, is on the market they've got a flower stall. Now I'm assuming this is supposed to be a planter because it's got a hole in the bottom. But I like the textured finish. And I need a bin for my bedroom because the one I've got in my bedroom, they all take the mickey and rather than turning right and going into the kitchen, they turn left, open my door to the bedroom and uh, pop the rubbish in my bin instead of turning right, going in the kitchen and putting it in the kitchen bin. But I thought I might do that like a, a brown colour and then white wax it. And then that'll look nice in my bedroom, I think. If not, then I'll do something else with it. Right, and the other thing, where I bought my lamp from that I'm going to show you in a minute, they've got these in there. Now, not this. I'll insert a photo of what they were selling and the £36. Exactly the same, but it had like a concrete look to it. So, I picked this up from the charity shop and I paid £5 for it. So, my intention is, is that I'm going to do the uh, concrete look on that and then it's hopefully either going to sit on that when it's done or my lamp's going to sit on that with something littler that I've got to get. But I'll take you and show you my lamp. I'll not be a minute because that's back in the house again. Right then. This is my lamp I've picked up. And the other went by me because I paid £50 for this. But I just loved it. It's like got a it's like got a really weird texture. So I'm hoping when I've done the tray, I can sit this lamp on it. This is something that I did ages ago, so I'm going to redo this and I'm going to go tomorrow and hopefully get some paint match to like this sort of colour. Oh, there's my mirror lock, still kept my mirror, didn't sell it, but you know, one of my first videos that got me like about 50,000 views, yeah, never to be seen again like, but you know, but anyway, yes. Oh. Speak of the devil, it's on a timer, so it's just come on. But yeah, he went bar me that I'd spent that amount of money on a lamp. But I thought it was really beautiful. And I think I got carried away in the moment in the shop because it's one of them shops that you just want everything of. And everything's like, you know, a coaster's like £10 that you put your cup of tea on and things like that. 
but it was beautiful. But I thought it was really, really nice. And it's got like a little goldy bit there and everything. But anyway, I'm going to make this over. I'm going to see if I can get all this stupid stuff that I did on the front off. So that'll be a, a video coming shortly as well. And then I'm hoping, like I say, my tray will fit on there with um, something little on the tray as well. And then I don't know where I'm going to put that other bit, that other part. But I do hope that you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, you'll have to let me know and subscribe and comment and anything else that you want to do. Join me on TikTok, so I'll post on TikTok. Uh, and until next time, take care and I'll see you again. All right, guys. Bye-bye.